Hi, welcome back to the shop. For the next three months, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of traveling and living out of a carry-on bag. This is going to be quite the challenge, given I have a lot to pack and not all that much space. If you look up the phrase bag organization online, you're bound to come across these things called packing cubes. Basically small modular containers you put inside your bag to help subdivide it and organize it. The trouble is, quality ones aren't cheap and they wouldn't even fit in my bag nicely anyway. I feel like I could make something that would work just as well. It'll be a fun challenge. I've actually tried this out one time before. Meet Packing Cube V1. It's made from sailcloth and fits well inside the main cavity of my bag. But I made it quickly using scavenge parts. And it's too big. For a longer trip, I really want multiple smaller containers. I started by doing a bunch of research. I really like the sailcloth material my initial bag was made out of. These cubes made by Peak Design have a really innovative compression mechanism I'd like to emulate. Some cubes have a mesh top. I'm not sure if that's good or not yet, but I think I'm going to forgo it for now. I think I've sort of got an idea of what I want in my head, so I'll start by making a pattern. It took me a while to figure out how the compression mechanism worked, but I think I finally cracked it. The mechanism consists of two wedge-shaped pieces with the zipper on the longest side. As you zip up the zipper, it pulls each side of the bag closer together, compressing the contents. But there's more. The wedges encircle the bag, going around each side and then again on the first side. There's also then a panel behind this wedge piece that fills in the gaps when the cube is expanded. I'll talk about this more when I put the thing together. Now for the material. I have an old sail I'm going to be cutting up. Don't worry, it's past its useful life. first seam, I'm going to be attaching a zipper lengthwise along the wedge-shaped compressor pieces. Here's that backing piece I was talking about. I'll attach this end to end to the compression assembly. To shape the bag, I've made a form. It's just some packing tape and a foam core, but it'll give me some support as I wrap the layers and stitch them together. You can start to see now why the backing layer is so important. It covers up the gap in between the compressor pieces.
I'm going to add this band at the top of the bag. That'll give the bag a bit more height. Now I can install the bottom piece. And finally, the top zipper and lid. The last step, unzipping the zipper while the bag is inside out. This is harder than you might think. And here's what I've come up with. The compression and expansion mechanism really takes a front row seat to everything else. But it's pretty important. I can fit these things too high inside of my bag, which should allow for some pretty amazing density inside. My biggest regret, I should have made these things square. As it is, they're 7 inches by 8 inches. On a few of the cubes, I accidentally turned the top panel 90 degrees. Luckily, it didn't end up being all that big of a deal functionally, and I don't really have time to go through and rip them all out, do them all again. It's gonna bug me though. Anyway, I can't wait to give these things a shot over the next few months. What do you think of my packing cubes? Do you have any design improvements? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you next time.